Hello, hello. So I have reinstalled Ubuntu GNOME and uh, this time around I actually installed it on my uh, Intel MVME drive and it's the 600p and uh, for some reason the model number doesn't show up here like with this SSD you can see model number everything but you can't do that with the, the NVMe for some reason and um, it is the 600p actually uh, it's this one is the 200 gig version and uh, yeah 1500 meg megabyte uh, read speed 500 write stuff like that and on the Intel supports website here for the SSD 600p you can see it's last reviewed 25, 22nd of May 2017 and today it's actually the 29th of July so this document is like two months old or reviewed and if I scroll down to the operating system here you see is Linux supported operating system no Linux is Linux is not a supported operating system and uh, that's kind of weird because I'm actually running it right now and that might be the reason why the model number doesn't show here but uh, yeah everything works <laughs> the only thing um, I had a little bit of an issue with the absolute first time I installed it um, uh, it was a little bit weird the computer was freezing now and then and also when I actually was shutting down the computer or restarting it it took like five minutes before it just shut down with stuff like that but the thing is that it was actually resolved when I installed the uh, uh, drivers for the graphics card <laughs> it's kind of weird because I went of course here to the uh, additional drivers and uh, yeah I have 38459 drivers and uh, normally I think the 7 375 is default because I actually added a, um, a PPA you see this uh, graphics drivers PPA for Ubuntu SD I added that so that I can get more up-to-date drivers and to do that you I just added PPA and that and reloaded everything but anyway after I actually uh, <coughs> installed these drivers and rebooted everything was normal again so uh, it turns off really fast same thing with reboot so yeah it works really well to install it here and uh, I can, uh, let's see if I can do a benchmark, uh, do here, yes, benchmark disks <coughs> and start, just default setting, uh, okay, uh, okay, that's because I'm actually using it. <laughs> Okay, so I can't benchmark it, but uh, okay. But here you can see it says NVMe. <laughs> Same thing here. NVMe zero on partition one. Same thing over here. NVMe. 
But yeah, so that's <laughs> kind of how it works over there. So you can actually install Ubuntu GNOME on it, and you can also do the uh, trim command, which is sudo. Uh, fs trim dash a dash v and you type password and yeah I already did that earlier just to test it and it's actually uh, doing trim on all the SSDs so these are the uh, If you actually look at the uh, mount volumes, and uh, see where is you can't really see it here, but uh, yeah, the first one is this one is the one gig. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, because I already, already run it before. But uh, you see the amount, if I take this one, uh, 9944 nine, FCC, so that's the second one over there. So yeah, it's actually running trim on all the SSDs here, including this uh, Intel drive, or the uh, NVMe, so yeah, it's actually working really well. And I couldn't really find it on the hardware list either, so if you go to the terminal and do uh, uh, LSW in this list, um, it's a kind of a long list, but I couldn't really find it here either on this list. kind of weird so yeah but it actually works so if you got the uh, Intel NVMe drive this drive it actually works on Ubuntu GNOME and I'm actually running Ubuntu GNOME 1704 so if you go uh, use a previous version of that you like Ubuntu 1604 it might not work so you gotta make sure to uh, uh, have the latest version of Ubuntu. So yeah, that's it for now. So see you later.